All right, back to Christy. Uh, where to begin? Well, you guys know the whole story. I met some people there that were nice, they were kind, but some of them weren't all that great. There were some that were the bad kids. The bad kids were seen as the good, but they weren't. They were just purely evil. They were breaking the rules. They curse as much as they wanted. And I pointed out, hey, the rules said we can't curse. But one of them said to me, hey, it's a school. We can do whatever the heck we want. It was kind of harsh. And I hated these kids that I hanged out with. They were supposed to be the cool ones. But there was one who was a Paris Hilton fanatic and she wanted to be just like her. He wanted to be like that stupid blonde bimbo who is nothing more famous anymore and is seen as a loser now. Huh. I'm surprised. I'm really surprised to hear that. Jerks. There was one who was pretty much of a chubby one. But she ended up showing her true colors, even laughing in my face when I was trying to be nice or helpful. Man. I even found one to be cute, but you know what? Looking back, he wasn't all that cute. He was nothing more than just a sad emo and a harsh person. He was acting like an emo. Same with this other girl. Ugh, I can't even stand all of them. Sometimes I just wish I could go back and just maybe... Nah, nah. I'm moving on. This is my life now. What's in the past is in the past. Can't change it. Or can you? <laughs> Who knows? Anyway, um... So yeah. This school was screwed up from the start, but thankfully, we never had Friday Chapel again ever since that one preacher guy. Oh man, it was so terrible, and we didn't have much teachers, and, well, our school felt pretty small. However, things turned a little bit better when my mom, Valerie, and she was still married to my stupid father, Oren, at the time. It was really terrible. Just awful with my dad. But anyway, moving on. So, anyway, my mom got a job at working as administrator. That was when she first met the nicest person you would ever meet. We're going to call her Miss M. And Miss M, well, she was pretty much of a pretty much of a hardcore Christian. No, she wasn't a Bible thumper, but she was the nicest person you would ever meet. Well, she didn't agree with the fact of anime or perhaps video games. She felt a little bit unsettled and thought video games weren't so good. Well, at first I was like, what's wrong with video games? But then, in the future, I managed to find out there was crimes towards video games with video game addicts. So I guess that's why she was pretty concerned. Looking back, I thought maybe she didn't want her sons to end up this way. And her sons are the most interesting people and the nicest that you would ever meet. Not like those other kids. These two boys were good friends with my little brother Jimmy ever since and they were good influence on my brother Jimmy not like the former one but anyway sorry changing the subject so Miss M was known to be a bit of a wisecracking witty funny nice and sweetest person and she was a great friend to my mom and she still is today. But she knew that school was pretty screwed up that she was working with. Especially the new one. Now Miss N was still a teacher, but they had to let her go. But it did not get better. Oh no, it got worse. 
so much worse. Here's why. There was a new lady in town. We're gonna call her Miss G. Now, Miss G was pretty much of a strict lady. I had a few run-ins with her. And, well, I did my best to get back on her good side. But she was still pretty overbearing, scolding, and she was not very nice. And she's also the reason why we never did much Bible anymore. She was a pretty fun person, but I guess she was part of the whole overwhelming experience. <sighs> she thinks that I don't get al around a lot. And my mom was pretty much a good friend to her once. Once. We got to move into this new building for our school for Christy. But it wasn't just called Christy, it was also called Steps. We had some pretty new teachers to help out with the special needs kids. The special needs kids were pretty much of a handful. And, well, the behavior towards the special needs was a very negative effect. Why? Well, Miss G acted so inhuman. She even called them out and just said they had to deal with it. But those special needs kids got worse. Their behavior just deteriorated to worse and worse and worse and worse. Just, it was absolutely horrendous. Seeing their horrible melts, like their meltdowns and all. And I was assigned to be therapist, assistant, but I lost that part because I didn't know how to deal with them. I had no heart, nothing. And I was terrible and I was screaming at them and I realized, looking back on that, I'm like, I can't believe I did that. Why did I do that? It was absolutely terrible on my part. Man, I was the worst out of them all. I got in trouble for that. But, man, it was just bad. My mom, who still didn't understand my hypersensitivity to sounds, gave me punishments where I had to leave the door open. Man, I was so angry with her all this time. I thought she would understand, but she didn't. But I guess she felt bad about that now that she understands a bit. Which I was proud that she was regretful for all of the mistakes. And she shouldn't put herself down. She was really good. It's just the school was screwed up. There was just this one teacher that we had when I was entering my high school. The special needs kids class for me. I hated it. There were two others that were negative, And I had to be with R, who was the most annoying person. And I, they, they claimed that school, the staff, claimed that this guy was just stemming. And I had to deal with it. He wasn't even stemming at all. He was just provoking me and others on purpose. And he was, and if there was nothing that got his way, he would get very upset. I absolutely hated it, especially these two negatives. And one kept saying the, the word majority so many times. And I didn't really like it. It was killing my self-esteem and this teacher we had we'll call her Miss J and she wasn't the very much nicest person and I felt so I felt like I wanted to take my own life and she scolded at me saying that I didn't believe in God hard enough but that wasn't it I didn't know why she couldn't understand my physical condition to loud sounds she thought I didn't believe in God long enough. I was just so angry. I was so upset that she didn't even understand. I was so angry. I wanted to make a change to please people. To please Miss G. I wanted to improve. 
and that's what I did. But Miss G had a daughter who thought that my hypersensitivity to loud sounds had to do with behavior. Same with the other special needs kids. I was like, what? You think this is about behavior? This isn't about behavior. I bet these kids are having a bit of a hard time. And you are thinking of something else. It wasn't a really good job for her. But I had to give her a little credit because she was the one that made my panic attacks go away. How? The 21 seconds, of course. All I had to do was look at this panic attack, look at this fear, and then taunt at it, and then count from 21 to 0. That was the 21 seconds. And then you gotta embrace yourself to be proud, to trust yourself even more. Yeah, it was kind of cool. I had to give her credit for that, but she didn't even understand my whole hypersensitivity to loud sounds. But she did cure my panic attacks. So I was proud of myself for changing a bit. I did good. I did awesome. And now we're done. Nope, not yet. I haven't even got to the gory details. Anyway, but I won't reveal too much. Thank you so much for listening and watching. See you next time.